In this tutorial, I'll show you how to find the concentration of hydronium of a weak acid solution. The question reads, find the concentration of H3O plus of a 0 0.100 molar HCN, which is hydrocyanic acid, solution. The first thing that we want to do is write a balanced chemical equation where HCN is combined with liquid water and it forms hydronium and the conjugate base CN minus. Here's what I mean. So we have H CN, and that's in its aqueous state, plus H2O, and it's a liquid. It forms hydronium, and it's also an aqueous molecule, plus the ionic form of CN, and given that it's losing a proton to water, it will be CN minus. The next thing that I want to do is organize my work by creating an ice table. So I'll write down I, C, E, where I represents the initial concentration, the change, and equilibrium concentrations. Starting with HCN, we're told in the question that it has a concentration of 0 0.100 molar. We won't include any information in this table about H2O because it is in its liquid state, so ignore that. H3O+, plus, since this is a weak acid, the amount of H3O plus is negligible. So I'll write down approximately zero here, and the concentration of CN minus is zero. The next thing that I'll do is set any one of these molecules as a variable X in this row for change. So I'll set this as X, and I'll create ratios to find out what the change here will be and the change there. Since this is a one-to-one -one ratio, we'll have X here we're comparing reactants with products, so we'll write down negative x, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio between HCN and 1CN minus, so that's also negative x. And the expression for equilibrium can be found by adding I plus C. So over here we have 0 0.100 plus x, here we have negative x, and here negative x. Next we'll write down the equilibrium expression, where we have K sub A, and that's given in the question. Notice here that the auto ionization constant is 4.9 times 10 to the power of negative 11. We'll substitute that in a moment. Is equal to the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of CN over the concentration of HCN shown there. Now let's substitute everything that we know. 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 10 is equal to the concentration of H3O plus, and that was negative X. The concentration of CN, negative X, and the concentration of HCN, 0 0.100 plus X. And we solve for X, but before we do that, let's simplify the top. We have negative X times negative X. That's the same thing as saying, x raised to the power of 2. I'll multiply both sides by the expression in the denominator, 0 0.100 plus x, because by doing that, watch, this will cancel out with this, and on the left side we have 0 0.100 plus x. We'll expand this really quickly where we multiply this factor to the two factors within the parentheses. We have 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 10, multiply 2, 0 0.100, plus the same factor, multiply 2, x. Interestingly, given that Ka was so small, 4.9 times 10 to the power of negative 10, you could have also ignored the fact that we even have a plus x written here. So you could have done this even easier without even including this x, and the solving process would have been much faster. But this is obviously the most accurate way. And this is equal to x squared. Remember that one. Let's multiply these two together. 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 10. Multiply 2, 0 0.100. Gives us such a small number, plus 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 10x. And I'll bring this over where I have negative x squared is equal to 0. 
This is a quadratic equation, so we'll need the quadratic formula. I'm not going to go through the whole process of using the quadratic formula. I'm going to assume that you know how to already. So I'll use my calculator to do this really quickly by clicking mode 5, then select the quadratic equation, so 3. Substitute your a, b, and c. Our a is negative 1. Our b is 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 10. And our c is even smaller, 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 11. Our calculator gives us two answers, a negative version and a positive version. The positive version is 7.00 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6. And the other version is 6.99 times 10 raised to the power of also negative 6. The one we choose is the one that will give us positive outputs here, here, and here. Obviously, by choosing the negative one, this will become positive, that will become positive, and even adding a small negative number to 0 0.100 will give us a positive output. Therefore, we can conclude that the concentration of hydronium is positive 6.9 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6. And that answers the question. Of course, we want this to three significant figures. So I'll write this out as the hydronium concentration is equal to 6.99 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6. And just to be clear, we want this to three significant figures. It turns out that we should even write down 7 decimal 0, 0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 molar. And there you have it. That is how to find the hydronium concentration of a weak acid solution.